you know, she Erica would do little little devilish things. They say, you know, because she was she was growing up. She was a kid right. growing up. But whenever you, I remember we we, uh, we did this piece for women, and Erica did the Billie Holiday piece. She did God bless the child, and the way she uh, fashioned and did the reading of it. And if you look in her eyes, she will always go to that place. Mm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. That story, man, why wow, that's great. Oh, we have everything lined up. That yeah. was so great. I want to ask you about uh, Erica Badu. I've been trying. That's my girl. I've been trying <laughs> to get it ever since I started this podcast. Yeah, shout out. Let me shop do a shout out. I do every time. <laughs> shout out to Erica Badu. Uh, this is Boss Talk One Hundred One. We do it. Uh, we 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 want you here. We love you. <laughs> so, but now we get back. All right. <laughs> but how was it when you first uh, met Erica? And, and uh, how old was she? And how old was she? Erica. Erica. When I first, well, Erica's mother, Colleen, and her godmother, Gwen. Uh, well, I met Gwen before I met Colleen. Gwen Hargrove was director of the Martin Luther King Recreation Center. Mm -hmm. And I had just, I got back to Texas, I left Texas, went to New York, North Carolina, came back to Texas. And they had a uh, an artist in residence program with the Cultural Affairs, City of Dallas Cultural Affairs. And so I was an artist in residence. I was an artist in residence for the City of Dallas. And they sent you to these recreation centers to do these programs. And that's why I met Gwen Hargrove. Gwen was Erica's godmother. Mm -hmm. And so all these kids that came from South Dallas at the uh, Mother of the King Center, I started doing stuff with all these kids, you know. And so Erica was one of those, Erica and her sister, Corian, were two of the kids that were part of those, that program. And then from that, she, uh, we started, Gwen was volunteering, her mother was volunteering. They became, they were like staples of the of the institution. Mm -hmm. And so from that, Erica, her sister, and all these other kids came. But I always knew something was different about her. That's what I was going to ask. Oh, yeah. How, well, how did you yeah. ask? Yeah. Because, you know, they, the same thing that people recognize, I don't decide egotistical. I don't either. say if it sounds like that, it's okay. The same thing, that it thing, they call it, that other people recognize in me is exactly what I recognize in her. So I knew, I knew, cause she was in the group, and when you look at her, you know, she Erica would do little, little devilish things. They say, you know, cause she was she was growing up, she was a kid right. growing up. But whatever you, I remember we we, uh, we did this piece for women, and Erica did the Billie Holiday piece. She did God bless the child, and the way she uh, fashioned and did the reading of it. And if you look in her eyes, she would always go to that place. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it was in her eyes. It was her persona and things like that. And she was always the leader with the group of kids that was there. And so it was always some fascinated about her. So I'm not surprised. Erica used to take her shoes off when everybody just kept their shoes on. You know, she was always, always to the earth. Sign. Yeah. Oh, okay. she had her feet. She always, uh, it was instinct. And she was a teenager at that time when she came. No, she was Eric like seven. She was, seven. Oh, little. She was she was small. Oh, okay. they were small kids. Okay. So they were in that first tier of small kids mm -hmm. that grew up. She literally was raised and grew up in the Black Academy, mm -hmm. Junior Black Academy. She, her sister, uh, I just go down the list of all all those kids. All of them grew up in the in the Black Academy. So. Being around big names is nothing new for Erica mm -hmm. because she, she grew up around Esther Roll, Ruby D, uh, Della Reese, Cicely Tyson. Esther, because these were all people that was around you. That was around me. Because you had wrote the letter. Yeah. yeah. I wrote the letter. Come on. <laughs> I, I, I write oh, now. I know that's that right. letter. See, that letter that's right. something else. Oh, okay. you, it was an extraordinary move because when you were saying, okay, what did they tell you that day? It wasn't what they told him. It was the movement that he made within the whole situation. Yeah, yeah. That made it such a great movie. Right. And I, I was holding on to that. Cause I know that's, that's what's the foundation of Bill. You always got to have a foundation. It's that it thing you have to recognize in that. There, Jada has an it thing. Terrence has an it thing. Harper, just, I just go down the list. I got about a hundred kids just like this. They all got that it thing. 
worthwhile. It's in, it's in, it's in them, you know, and they're all doing incredible. Incredible, man, incredible Jay, stuff. Linda Jada came over here and saw me, and I still, I'm gonna drop it to do it. I keep yeah. dropping it. But yeah, uh, it's just beautiful the way a boy sang. All to Jesus I surrender all to Him I freely give. I will ever love. And trust him in his presence daily give. I surrender all. That's it, man. Just stop. No, 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 yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.